When you think about your favorite TV shows, live concerts, or big time sports broadcasts, you might not realize just how many cameras are working behind the scenes and how many of them don't even have a person standing behind them anymore. Remote controlled robotic cameras, often generally called robos, have been quietly reshaping television for decades. While traditional hard cameras and handhelds dominated TV production through most of the 20th century, the late 1990s and early 2000s saw a major shift. Improvements in remote control technology, video transmission, and mechanical precision made it possible to place small, versatile cameras in places operators could never go. Today, robotic cameras come in many forms, from PTZ cameras mounted in event venues and studios, to drones capturing cinematic overhead shots, to roving camera rigs and even spider cams flying above the football field. Robotics have become an essential part of how television is made, especially in live sports and entertainment. Today, we are going to break down the most common types of robotic cameras you'll see on TV and where you'll spot them during a live production. Then we'll jump into a quick demo thanks to our friends at PTZ Optics, and we can show you how these setups actually work. First, it's important to note why these things are rising in popularity. The short answer is space, precision, and cost. These cameras can go where camera operators and full camera setups can't physically fit, they do repeatable movements precisely and smoothly, and in certain circumstances, it can be a cheaper alternative over the long run. As a professional camera operator myself for almost a decade now, I'll be honest, the thought of robots taking my job can be a little bit scary, but at the end of the day, these cameras are there as a tool, making events look better and literally going where we couldn't go before. And a human operator is still more smooth and precise at tracking quick motion with immediate reaction time, at least for now. PTZ cameras. First up, PTZ cameras, which stands for pan, tilt, and zoom. These are basically small, self-contained, remote-controlled cameras that can be mounted just about anywhere on a concert stage, in the back of a hockey net, or in any other space where you wouldn't wanna put a full camera setup and a camera operator. An operator controls the pan, tilt, and zoom remotely, along with a variety of other easily accessible functions using a joystick or controller, like the one you see right here in front of me. PTZs are workhorses. They're perfect for getting consistent, safe, non-intrusive shots, and they can be controlled by a single operator managing multiple cameras at once. They're even capable of repeating pre-designed camera movements at the touch of a button. Great for static shots and movements that are pre-staged or easy to anticipate, PTZs are a cost-effective option for smaller budget productions or areas you aren't able to place a larger setup. Robocams. Closely related to PTZs are robocams. These terms are sometimes used interchangeably, but typically robocams refer to larger broadcast quality cameras mounted on robotic pedestals, truss, or even on tracks. You can see these behind the backboard at a basketball game, overlooking a lacrosse net, or in front of the stage at a concert or corporate event. These setups allow for beautiful, smooth shots on a high quality camera without an operator physically standing nearby. They save space, improve safety, and can be mounted in locations that would be otherwise unreachable. And also like PTZs, they are controlled using a controller from a remote location by an operator that can be operating multiple cameras at a time. Roving cameras. Next, what I think is one of the coolest new pieces of tech on the market is the roving camera. These systems, like the Ajito camera seen on TGL broadcasts, are remote controlled motorized dollies that can roll around stadiums, arenas, and event spaces. They're like a hybrid between a camera cart and a remote control car, but loaded with a full-size broadcast camera mounted on top. They can move at a variety of speeds, get low to the ground for clean tracking shots, and follow players during walks and celebrations. These cameras give directors cinematic movement in places where handhelds would be too slow or where you need buttery smooth repeatable motion. Drones. 
As we all know, drones have exploded in popularity over the last decade. Small, nimble drones can now capture overhead stadium venue shots, sweeping city landscapes, or even dynamic tracking shots during golf tournaments and car races. Drones used for live TV are typically piloted by a certified drone operator and are great for wide aerials and dramatic reveals. They are often used for what we call scenic shots, introducing a broadcast to the venue or city as a whole. Spidercam slash Skycam. Finally, let's talk about the Spidercam or Skycam, two slightly different systems but similar concepts. These are robotic cameras suspended on cables above a stadium, arena, or live event space. In addition to pan, tilt, and zoom functions like a normal robo or PTZ camera, a second operator can fly the camera up, down, forward, backward, left, and right, covering a full three-dimensional space over the venue. This requires some serious chemistry between the two operators, not to mention an entire rigging team for setup, maintenance, and safe operation. In football, you see these all the time, especially during kickoffs or dramatic replays, usually from an angle behind the quarterback. In concerts and award shows, spider cams are used to fly right over the audience or to sweep toward a performer on stage. A safer and smoother alternative to drones, spider cams can move super quickly and accurately and are an awesome addition to any large broadcast. PTZ Camera Operation all right, let's switch gears here for a second and get hands-on and show you guys how these things actually work. So I've got a basic PTZ controller set up here in front of me. First, this joystick here controls both pan and tilt. Push the stick forward, the camera tilts up, pull it back, it tilts down, move it left and right, and it pans the camera horizontally. These knobs here control our manual focus and zoom. Autofocus can also be toggled on and off using the autofocus button here. To zoom, simply twist one way to zoom in, the other to zoom out. Some controllers have a zoom function integrated into the joystick as a rocker switch, or in this case, a built-in rotating feature that allows you to pan, tilt, and zoom the camera all with one hand at the same time. All of these features come with variable speed controls for faster or slower movements. Most controllers can also allow you to create camera presets to get back to certain shots quickly. I can select a camera, save a preset for my desired location, go ahead and move to get another shot somewhere else in the venue, and then I can recall my preset to quickly get back to that original position. Controllers like these can control dozens of cameras at a time, and operators will often operate multiple cameras on a single show. And with Hive, the new control software from PTZ Optics, you can do so from anywhere in the world. You may have noticed that these cameras are only connected using a single Ethernet cable, and that's because this cable not only provides power and links the cameras to the controller, but they are also sending a video signal to my laptop, which can stream and record each camera's feed using this Hive software. That being said, we wanna give a huge thanks to PTZ Optics for sending these cameras our way, and there's a link down in the description if you're interested in learning more. Robotic cameras have truly transformed the television industry. They've made it possible to cover more angles, move faster, stay safer, and do it all with a smaller footprint. And as these cameras get smarter and more flexible, the line between traditional and robotic camera work is only going to blur further. If you enjoyed learning a little more about how your favorite TV and live event moments come to life, please drop us a like, hit that subscribe button for more production breakdowns, and let us know in the comments what robotic camera do you think is the coolest. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.